Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of Breath of the Wild. And now, let's go have a look at that labyrinth to see how well I can get through another one. I mean, it went fairly well last time. I pretty much knew what I needed to do. Oh, there's a few enemies around here. That's fine. I can probably just go past them anyway. Either go around them or just go through them and just ignore them. Either way. And now, here we are. You could also pro climb over this one and the previous one, but I'm going to actually go through it the way it was intended, somewhat, and get lost. To you who sets foot here, my blessing awaits you at the labyrinth's end. Okay. The desert labyrinth. And there's Bokoblins. Style Bokoblins, specifically. My favorite. I love style enemies. Ah, pain. Anyway, this one's a little bit different because it has four sections inside of the main wall. So we're gonna head into one of them and have to make our way through them all. I'm pretty sure. So, there's also a little bit of malice in here. I don't think you can get rid of it. Like it could last time. But that's okay. Um, I'm already seeing a problem. Because this outer bit here is just completely separate from the inside of this bit. Which is strange. But also, it's possible that there's going to be tunnels underground. Hang on, is there, is there no way in? No, there was a way in. It's over here. So yeah, so yeah, there might be tunnels underneath certain parts. Or over top of parts. And that is concerning me. We also might just need to go into different sections that don't connect. I can't remember how this place is. This really has nothing in it. Nothing, not, not over there at least. I'm pretty sure there's uh, a treasure chest in the middle of each section as well. Yeah. So if I went the right way, I'd probably get to the end of this labyrinth quicker. And so one of the correct, the correct section that links to the middle. Pretty sure it's the one on the other, other like the the other one that's closer to the door. Actually, where does the entrance start for this one though? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they do connect a little bit more than this. Just that section was not connected. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the party. Now burn. There we go. I'm just gonna take its parts though. I'm okay with them spawning as long as I get to take their parts. They don't drop the um their guts though, because they don't have guts. Oh my goodness, why are they just spawning all the time everywhere? Okay, let's go into here, and this is probably going to connect with the back two, if I had to guess. So let's, first of all, no treasure chest there. Maybe over here then? No? Oh wow, that's interesting. Um... Yeah, it really doesn't seem like there's a treasure chest here, which is surprising. But maybe over here? Yes. We can also see a little... Bars. Bars? A little bars over here. Showing a slight connection to places. Oh, hello, Malice. 
I would climb over that, but I don't think I want to just yet. Probably. Actually, I don't think I need to at all. I'm pretty sure I can just go this way. And now... We're in a different section. So much malice. What is this? Well, it looks like something's glowing over there. Oh, there's a bow. Well, that's not worth it. <laughs> not worth it at all. Another thing there. Let's go up here. Oh boy, I'm going to get lost. Must be a treasure chest in, in here somewhere. I don't know why I'm caring about getting treasure at this point. Oh wow, this, this is just confusing my brain. Okay, this way. More malice? Wait, did I go in a circle? No, I didn't. Did I? No. I'm still somewhat on track. Let's go this way. Okay, yeah. This is, this is fine. I just need to find my way through here properly. So is it this way? Do I need to go through Malice? Oh, I didn't go this way, did I? I went back to make sure I didn't miss anything. But there's this little bit up here. Taking us into the fourth section. I didn't find a treasure chest back there, but that's okay. There was the bow in the middle of the malice, so I guess that's what it wanted me to find. That I don't need so much malice. Oh my goodness. And down here. Is this a treasure chest? Is this a treasure? Yes, it is. Silver rupee. It's a fair bit of rupees from the treasure chest here, which is nice, because I need a lot more than this. 10,000 rupees. Okay, the other side of the malice. Definitely no eye. It could be that there is an eye somewhere in here, and if you get it, it'll get all of the malice. But anyway, this is the end of the maze, the labyrinth. Also, I went back and tracked all of the Koroks I missed. So my track is back up to where it was needed to be. Barbarian armor! Armor once favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region. The war paint bolsters your fighting spirit and raises your attack power. And that means that we have the complete set. Look at that. I'm very happy with that. I just wish that I had the rest of the climbing gear. I'm guessing that certain shrines like in that are connected, I guess, kind of have the full set rewards. So now, let me just think for a second here. What's that over there? Is that just a ruins? Although, I think that's a Korok, so let me mark that as a leaf. You can sometimes see rock patterns which you can probably tell are going to be Koroks whenever you see them. Um, I think there's also one kind of like that all the way over here somewhere. Yeah, these, these this rock pattern. I don't know where all the rock patterns are, obviously. And you have to be zoomed in all the way to actually see them. Pretty much. Because otherwise it just looks like a piece of landscape. Oh well. Um, I think now... 
I don't know where else to get shrines in the Gerudo region. I think there's only one left in Gerudo, the Gerudo region. Um, so now, let's go back over here. And I guess I can go get that Korok now. And I can also check out that star. And then, yeah, there's a few other things I should probably do like that Korok there. I wanted to check that out, so I'm gonna mark that as the thing to go look at. Anyway, let's go to the Tabantha Tower. Also, just looking from here, it's crazy to think that we went to that one tree that we can see, and also the peak. Just, we went all that way. Anyway, let's go have a look down here. This is kind of a memorable, memorable location down here, actually. And actually, if it is as memorable as I say it is, then does that mean that once I get closer, is there what I think there is, maybe? Okay, maybe this one? I think it would be this one, right? No. Because they're the rocks, but I think that... Oh, wow! Just a random piece of amber. I think that one of these circles has something that I want, maybe? Oh. Oh, this is interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, come on. Um, whoa, where am I? I don't even know how, to, how that happened. Come on. Ow. I don't like how it can hit you like that. That's okay, let's go around. And climb up again. And let's finish you off. There we go. I did need a lot more rupees, so this is a good way to get it, I suppose. I should probably actually mark this location as... Oh, I wish I had a proper marker for it. I'll put it as a skull. But anyway, let's grab all of this selling materials. Let's actually go to my marker that I placed. Okay. Is there a rock nearby that I can use? There's one up there, I guess. Hopefully I only need one. And I'm guessing it just needs to be right in the center, right? Right? Right. That would make sense. Very nice. What's attacking me? Oh, it's a chew, chew monster, chew, chew slime thing. <laughs> it's a choo choo, like a train, but better. Is that a Korok? Maybe. I need to go to my blue marker anyway. I feel like one of these craters actually does have another Korok for me. Just because of something else that I saw in a different game.
Is this important? It is important. Haven't seen many of those before. Um, excuse you. That's physics. That's that's not how physics. Physics? What is happening with that rock? Because it's on a chain, it does lots of weird, random things. Get in the hole, thank you. Yeah. Doing pr pretty well with Koroks in this region. It's a small region, so... I have to... You could probably seek eight each Korok. One to another. Anyway... I think we already got that one. Like, way, way long ago. Yep, and it's still got apples for us. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Um, what element do I want? Probably ice. Ice is pretty nice. Okay. Now this way, have a lot of enemies in front of us. Probably don't need to worry about them. It'd be a shame though if you had to kill enemies to make a shrine or a cork appear. That is fun though. Oh, and they do have a treasure chest I guess I could do. Get that from them. Since I want to have more money. Now, can I please shoot you? Thank you. Playing football with your friend, how do you feel about that? If I could, like, get them really going, though towards the edge of the cliff, that would be great. I can bring them closer to the, to the cliff at least so I can push them off. Goodbye. And goodbye, sir. Enjoy your trip. Oh, and the other one's still frozen. That'll get him going. I might actually defeat him since I can. There we go. That's easy enough. Now the other one's actually dead. Because that's one concern with just pushing them off. <laughs> nope. I can see the health bar. At all. I don't know how you're still alive. To be honest. Oh wow. I don't know how I'm still alive if I'm going to slide off like that. Um, okay, it was waiting for me to be on ground, I guess. But there we go. It's been a while since we actually saw one of these treasure chests. They are fairly rare. Royal Broadsword, that's pretty good, but my inventory is full, unfortunately. Um, I wish I had more space. I might just leave it. I mean, I can mark it as a true chest that I've unlocked. Um, okay. Also need to go up there at some point. But for now... Looks like this is the only thing around here. That I can see. So let's get rid of this, and I have a thing to make this a lot easier. Launch, 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 launch. There it goes, in a completely different direction to the way the arrow is pointing. But anyway, down here is a shrine. Which is why I took interest in it ages ago, because I remembered it. Oh, is this a 
Okay, it's a wind guide. I thought it was a different shrine completely, and I was a bit worried. But nope, it's fine. Oh no. Oh no, I have to throw out something for this shrine, don't I? Oh, well that's fine. Because I need a cork leaf to get through. I might be able to come back for my weapon, maybe. Unlikely, though. I could possibly break my weapon. Or oh, a different weapon at some point to try and get through. I'm surprised I can pick this up, but that kind of works because it means I can get rid of it somewhat well. I think that was a good use of it. Um, I might actually go fight those enemies on the ground. There we go. Oh, and they're dropping their weapons as well. I don't think their weapons are going to be very good compared to my weapons. But that's okay. Because it means I don't need to grab them anyway. But I need more ancient parts, so... Might as well take them out. The first one I defeated apparently dropped some really good stuff as well. Rare materials. What's that balloon is just there now. It's just there. Okay, well there's a treasure just there that I need to get. Get a cork leaf. Okay, and we have a platform now that can float, so let's jump onto that, and let's try to get that treasure chest if I can. It's got weird physics on it when it turns as well. Oh my goodness, it's just going everywhere. Let's grab this treasure chest before anything else happens. Get a gold rupee, I'm quite happy with that result. And let's head back the other way now. Oh my goodness, where am I going? Not that way, please. More that way. And then that way. Oh my goodness, that way, please. I should probably try to go against the motion. But I really can't. There's also that pit there, apparently. That I probably don't want to fall into. Let's go a little bit more forward. And let's get off of that before anything else happens. I don't need it in this room, right? There's nothing to float into over here, it doesn't look like it. So, is there anything else to do? Or is this just the end? Okay, I need a key. Throw in that chest up there. Um. That's not gonna explode if I shoot it with, yeah. Well, I guess I can just do a little bit of that then. Ow! I'm on fire! I wasn't that close to it. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's do that. Oh, and there's a treasure chest there. Oh, slow down. Okay. Forest was so long throw. Ah! Ha! Ha! Yeah, let me... Oh, I was gonna pick that up again after I got the Forest Dweller Sword, but I guess I can't anymore. So let's see what I can do with this. I can launch myself up, but that doesn't seem to do a ton. Because there's this over here instead. Why would I not just use this? Right? Right. Let me just get out of the way of that before I explode myself. I almost still exploded myself. But this is here, so why would I need the thing down there? Anyway. Now that we're up here. Is there something above us? Yes, there is something above us. Um, Let's spawn in a platform. Oh, and this is going to be fun, because those spikes are going to pop the balloons if I'm not careful. Oh, or I could just fall off. Oh, I guess if I wanted to go back? No, that still doesn't make sense. Oh, 
Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go get the treasure chest and not die, hopefully. Grab, 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 grab fast. Ain't giant ancient core. I'm quite happy with that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm fine. Oh, if you wanted to go back for the treasure chests. No? You can still pro-glide down from above. That, that, that defe defeats the purpose of that. I don't understand why the platform is there. Hey. Okay. Time to see how well I can get through this these spikes here. Oh my goodness. Go slowly. Don't pop, 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 don't pop. Oh my goodness. Faster, 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 slower. Slower, slower, slower. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump off. Wait, wait, did it actually... Ah, it actually made it. I thought it was gonna die, but it didn't. And everything's fine. Launch. Okay, so, this is a tall room, oh my goodness. Let's figure this out. So I can launch myself here as well, but where am I launching myself to? Do I want to go across here? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'm going to head back before I get stuck over there. There's no platform over there, is there? I don't think I can even blow that up without just using a bomb arrow. And I don't really want to just use a bomb arrow. I feel like there's a better solution to this. Let's go over here. And this is probably what I need. Yes. Okay. So we have a bomb barrel balloon. Let's start getting this to where it needs to be. And be very careful not to make it explode. Where I don't want it to explode. Oh, don't just attack the bomb, please. Can I get it over there? I'm not sure if I can just get it over there. Oh, it's not going to reach. It's not reaching. That's not reaching. Stop moving. Why are you moving so much? Um, let's just... Blow it up, I guess. Oh, there's something in there to make it exp explode the whole thing. So I wasted a bomb arrow, which I could have just... So I could have just wasted a bomb arrow the whole time, basically. But anyway, now that that's open, this this thing is goes all the way up now. There's a treasure chest up here. With a small key, so that's what I needed. Okay. So the other chest is rawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawrawraw